All right, I wanted to um, show you guys how to clean hog moths because there's not many videos on here to show you how to cook hog moths. These are already clean hog moths, and this is the dirty one. I clean like four of them, so I'm gonna show you how to clean the hog moth. You gotta have a sharp knife and rinse it good first. So you're going in the stomach, you're gonna open it. You're gonna bring it back through the stomach at the bottom. Now opening up the stomach of the pig, which is the hog mom. But I always go to the bottom of the stomach because that's where the chitlin line is. You can always get the chitlin line out. I don't know how a lot of people do their hog moths, but I do mine. How I always see my parents do it. So just cutting them up and wherever there was a chitlin line on there for chitlins, you cut it out. Any little white stuff in there, you scrape it out. But Anywhere was a chitlin line, cut it out. So you make sure that you don't have no chitlin in it. No old chitlin in your stuff. And you fool it. So you cutting out all the part where chitlin was that just so I can be sure. All the rest of this stuff is trash. We don't use none of that. Probably think like throwing away a lot of meat, but it's just fat and stuff that the chitlin was connected to. We don't want that. So, what is hog mogs used for? Like, it's, some people eat hog mogs by themselves, but a lot of people use hog mogs to make their chitlins more of chitlins because when you do your chitlins, it don't be much chitlins and it's like a thickener to make like more meat of the chitlins. And that's what they all, my family always used it for, a thickener to make it like it's more chitlins, but it still come out tasting good. You can taste the hog moth on the chitlin, but you gonna, everything gonna taste like chitlins when we done. See the inside right here? This what we this what we trying this what we getting out. This right here. Oh, okay. On all hog moths. And that's where the inside where the chilling was. That's where the chilling was sitting in, in the hog stomach on that line. So that's so, the part you throw away? Yes. All the white stuff. You scrape it out or you cut it out. But mainly, if you cut it out, you'll get a better sense of how much is like you're really getting rid of the problem you ain't just trying to clean it I always make sure I cut it off no matter how much of a hog moth it be it's good to not have it in your food so last piece All right, and that's how you clean a hog mom. All right, y'all. Like and subscribe. Bye.